Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Darling, today we have a good one, darling. Today I'm gonna have a tutorial and I'm gonna show you how I use this new product from Kevin Murphy. It's called PHD. Uh, what this does is changes the uh, the pH uh, from a color, hair color, from alkaline into acid, uh, making it like a demi-permanent color. Uh, this is new technology, darling, and it's a game changer on the industry uh, because you have so many alter alternatives now. Um, you can use any, any shade in the Color Me color line from Kevin Murphy, and you can use it as a demo, you can use it for toning, you can use it as a gloss. Uh, it will not, it will not uh, shift the base. Uh, anyway, guys, so if you wanna see how I play with this new product, keep on watching, yes! Okay, guys, welcome back. So we are in my hair studio, and I'm about to try the new PhD from a uh, from Kevin Murphy, which is a, a color additive that makes everything from, uh, uh, it makes, it makes alkaline color, which is permanent color into a demi uh, by turning it down into an acid. So this is the name of the product in here. And let me show you the product. So this is the product and it comes in a, in a big bottle. How many ounces in here? 3.2 ounces. So this is the product, ta ta So this is what you add to the, to the to your uh, permanent color, the developer that you use, which is this one here. So you you can only use it with this. This can only be used with this. So it's one toning and gray blending, one part of uh, the hair color, two parts of the activator, and five percent of the shade amount, up to twenty minutes. And if you if you want toning for uh, for refining and glossing, uh, you do one part of color me uh, of the color, two parts of the activator, ten percent of the shade, and up to ten minutes. So it is very 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 uh, very quick. So what what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing the ten percent. I'm gonna be toning and refreshing, uh, glossing. So what I'm gonna be doing, guys, I'm gonna take this. This mannequin head that I have in here and the hair color that looks like kind of, kind of like blah, like it's not giving her life. So I'm just gonna choose uh, the product with her and this is gonna be up to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do this uh, in the uh, shampoo bowl because this is very fast and I'm gonna be the kit. Okay, PSD. Okay, so let me, guess every, let me just get everything set up and I'm gonna show you the color on the, from the color chart and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have in here the color book, the color swatch book, and I just wanna find a nice shade that will go great with her complexion. She has a lot of brightness, so I do wanna keep the brightness, but at the same time, I wanna do something uh, that will complement her. Uh, gold copper would look nice. But I think Mahogany. Okay, so let's try this this other alternative. I think I'm gonna keep it on the chocolate family. I think it goes best with her skin tone. And so I'm gonna mix chocolate and beige together on the 8.2. And let's see what that brings us, okay guys? So let me just make the formulation and I'll show you how I make it, okay? Yes. Okay guys, we are here in my color bar, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mix the color. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna put this in, the mixing bottle that came with this and I'm gonna start mixing the colors chart in here that I want to use because I'm, I'm not gonna be using it in any of my clients so I just want to try this we are just doing this for fun so I'm just gonna be putting a point two which is beige blonde I have some chocolate in here I'm just gonna add 12 grams of this. Double that uh, for the uh, activator, 10%. So it's going to be six grams, six grams of uh, PHT. So I'm gonna, it doesn't say to, to shake, but I'm gonna shake it anyway. Okay. 
check very well to make sure that everything is combined. Okay guys, so here's the mannequin and here's the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, and just for the hell of it, I'm just doing a shampoo and condition. So I'm going to follow. It says to do with angel hair, so I have here my, my angel wash from Kevin Murphy. That because it says on the chart to shampoo, the hair, the hair has to be clean. Uh, it doesn't say that it needs to be dry, so I'm just going to do it on damp hair. Uh, it also helps to keep the hair uh, damp, so it, it will uh, even out the porosity on the hair. It's like in everything, it's better to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Because then you, uh, if it doesn't work, then you're going to be wondering, what did I do wrong, you know? It's, it's that when you follow um, uh, the mixing ratio, when you do like color services. Like if it says to do one to two, you have to do one to two, otherwise, the results are gonna be different. It's not, it's not a good idea to rush between customers because people are paying for the service and they expect to have maximum results. And when you start putting time of doing shortcuts between clients and I mean the color may, the color may look good on that first day, but once they uh, can put in here a couple of times, the color will fade. And it's because you know that you didn't leave it on on the hair for enough time. I just want to make sure that everything. Is okay, guys, here we go. Make sure that I shake this very well. And I'm gonna take my wild comb. So this gives me an idea that 16 grams of color, uh, depending on the density of the hair of the person, it's, it's enough. Because it brings the pH down uh, to a more natural state, so you know, so the hair, does, the hair color does not penetrate the cuticle. It stays, it stays. Um, so we have two more minutes. It's like, like the final refinement of the hair. Okay, so let's go to the tripod and set, set her up. Give her a trim. I want to give her layers, so I'm going to give her like a 90, 90 degree haircut. So, this mannequin has gone through hell, darling. I'm giving her like a couple of balayages. The hair was very dark and I made it all lighter. I'm going to use this. You want to again infuse all infused uh, treatment oil, which I think is the best if you have ditch hair. Chemical treat the hair, I think it does wonders. It's also the perfect cutting cream, cutting lotion. Yes! Beautiful. To give her volume, and I love using this bodybuilder from Kevin Murphy. Yeah. Remember, you have the uh, you want to gain oil in the bottom, so you need something to give more lift now. The fingers are the best tool.
I wish you guys could see the shine. It's amazing. Perfect for the summer, you know? Yeah! Thumbnail! It's beautiful. Look at all those beautiful layers, guys. You know, it's like the perfect summer cut, guys, but for you to go on the beach and you don't have to care about anything. Just go wild like this. Look at the beautiful layers in the back. You know, if you have a, a natural wavy hair, this is gonna be even great for you. Um, yeah, so I think this is the best thing you can do for your hair when you have like straight hair like this. I mean, you may not even need to do the whole head. Okay, so I'm done curling over her hair. I'm gonna let it cool, but before I do that, I'm gonna spray, spray some of this texturizing spray, which I think is beautiful. Yes! More, more, more. So I'm gonna let it dry. And we're going back outside. Hi guys, welcome back. So I decided to give her some curls for a while, for a while they look. So let me just, I'm gonna come them out with my fingers. Yes. Look how beautiful. So you see what I was telling you about? All these layers that gives you a lot of movement. How beautiful, yes. And you know, you don't have to do them this, this tie, you know, as with the humidity and all that stuff, all these curls are gonna get relaxed more. But I just wanted to show you the layers, you know, the, all the volume that they're gonna give you. Look at this. It gave her a nice glow, like, she was looking like very grayish. And now she's looking like she wants to have fun. Yes! For big hair, it's time for uh, wild hair. Beautiful color, you know, rich hair color like this. And yes! Okay guys, so you saw the way she looks with straight hair. And the way she looks with uh, a lot of curls. Again, it's because of the 90 degree haircut seamless layers haircut it can give you lots of options for you to play with look how back how beautiful they look back they look look how beautiful the the back looks yes this new summer style for you guys and let me just take you in a few she's having fun in the garden like me yes Look at the color, I just wanted to take you outside so you can see the color of natural light. Look how beautiful, yes! Uh, hanging basket, this is my favorite one because the colors are gorgeous. Uh, I think it looks great in back of her. So this is gonna be my thumbnail. Yes! Look how beautiful! Okay guys, so when you go to your hairstyle, it's tell them that you want to have the seamless layers, also known as the 90 degree haircut, okay guys? So, okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it in here like this. I uh, hope you had a wonderful July 4th weekend and until the next one guys, ta-ta!